This is six time IFBB Bikini Pro Champion, Brina Martinez, and I take ZMA5 to make sure that I get the zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6 needed to keep my immune system healthy and snack strong. Mike looks great in training. 54 years old. I think, he, I think he looks better than Roy, in my opinion, in training. But, I mean, that doesn't really matter, you know? Uh, but Mike is, I think, bigger than Fist. So Roy better be careful because the last few fights Roy had was not put in that. And Roy was probably one of the best fighters in the world at one time. Like, he was the best fighter in the world at one time. I think in his prime, he beats almost everybody. I think everybody. Who would beat him? He was too fucking good. Look, Tyson's return could be for an exhibition, you know, something for, you know, charity or something, but to fight a real fight, I don't think he should. I really don't think so. Look, I, do, I like them both. They're both legends to me. And yeah. I look up to both fighters. And secondly, I just feel like they should not really be in the ring together. I mean, they are the legends, but and why come in the ring? What is it? What's, what's, to, what's making them come and fight? I mean, they don't need to, you know, spoil their legacy. Although, you know, one punch can change their, change their life. They can get hurt badly. I mean, one punch can definitely hurt them. But I don't know, man. I don't know what's made Mike and Roy think about fighting each other. I'm, I mean, they might be friends. I don't know. But um, who, who's going to win this fight? Look, I think Roy Jones, in my opinion. Not because, I mean, look, I'm, a, I'm, I'm more close to Mike than I am with Roy. But I just think that with Roy Jones, I think with the speed he still has. And he's a little bit younger and been less... Wars than Mike Tyson. I, even though Mike Tyson looks amazing on the pads and looks yeah. amazing on on the mates when I seen him on on Facebook and I've seen him on uh, social media, but I just feel that fighting for eight rounds, which I think is eight rounds, isn't it? Yeah. Fighting for eight rounds, three minute rounds. It's, 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 it's long. I think it's hard to criticize people like Mike Tyson and Roy Jones. You know, I think they've done so much for the sport. I just feel that I like to remember those guys when they were young and at their best. You know, I just I just hope that it's not, you know, a sad spectacle. You know, hopefully they can just have a bit of fun with it and I wish them all the best. I don't know, I mean, if it's an exhibition, they could both just uh, have fun with it. You know, like a sparring session, a friendly exhibition. But uh, I don't know, man. In, once you're in the ring, anything could happen, any little, Boom, any punch could spark that shit up, and before you know, you got a fucking brawl, you know, which is kind of like what I'm hoping for. I, 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 that was my you next know, question. I kind of yeah. hope for that. I want to see, I want to see a fight. I mean, it's just exciting to see something like that, you know, uh, two two fighters, you know, who in their respective eras were probably the best, you know, in, in their era. Tyson being one of the best in his generation, Roy Jones being the best in his generation. You know, it's a good good thing to do. It's some, you know, good opportunity to see them back. But we gotta also remember it is an exhibition, like I said. So, who are you choosing? <laughs> I, I don't I don't know if, if I want to choose either one. I I think it's it's just uh, an opportunity to see both of them. You know, and, and kind of be nostalgic about what they used to be. Yeah. You know, back in the day. Take you back to your childhood, right? Yeah, just watching Teen, them. Yeah. Sing. Same here. Yes, exactly. Well, I mean, I always got to go with my uh, with my Brooklyn Knights, and uh, Mike Tyson is one of my favorite fighters of all time. He's probably the most inspirational fighter uh, that's been in boxing for me, being that we come from the same roots and have a lot of the same different experiences coming from the same neighborhood. So I love Mike. I'm going to always support Mike. But Roy Jones was one of my favorite fighters of all time, so it's kind of like a bittersweet moment. But... Uh, I look forward to seeing Mike being victorious. Um, I just hope none of the guys get hurt. I know they're up there in age, and I just want to see a good fight. But, you know, I also want to see them come out unscathed. It's good for them. It's good for them because, you know, uh, there must be something, you know, in them that's kicking in and says, I want to fight. I want to do it again. I want to be in that position again. I want to be looked at being a warrior once again and giving the fans, you know, something to cheer for, you know, some sort of entertainment. And that's what they're going to do. I mean, I'm going to tune in. I'm going to buy the preview. Yeah. I mean, uh, those are two fighters who I've admired for decades, especially Roy Jones Jr. I just, he was definitely one of my favorites in my book. 
and not only as a fighter but also as a friend he's a great guy um but inside the ring he was one mean guy one mean dude for real um i mean and he says you know i mean it's do or die inside the ring you know i mean once you're in there you go all out and uh i mean just know what i mean by that do or die means just i'm going all the way through win or lose you know i mean i don't i don't want any fighter to go into you know to so uh, I want every fighter to, to leave the ring just how they came in. Good health. Like so, some people uh, have said that maybe it's not a good idea because someone could get hurt. No, nah, come on. It's, it's, it's an exhibition. It's mm. fine. So, yeah. come on. He's not fighting with a, a Uber guy. He's Uber fighting driver. with... <laughs> come on. You know, he, he fights with an amazing boxer. Yeah. Or John Jr., come on. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. It's great. For me, it's great. For maybe yeah. for the people, be happy with that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think it's great. It's a great opportunity. You know, it's a very nice show like this. Who wins? I don't know. Is is they going to have like a decision to who's win? But mm-hmm. I think it's, it's for me, it's good. It's good uh, event. Very good uh, fight. I don't know. I think my, I think my Tyson. I think yeah. so. For me, it is my Tyson. Yeah, power. Come on. But yeah. you know, Roy Jones have this movement right? yeah 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 that's, that's true. what's very interesting fight. it's the very interesting fight i like it. what's gonna happen when mike hits gets hit for real like a real one is he gonna be able to control himself or is he just gonna go all out uh after roy i i think that they're gonna have they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to be some control in there i think the referee is gonna play a big part in this but you're right as soon as mike gets hit mike goes uh, reverts back to uh the old mike i mean he's still he may uh, be older and he may look a little heavier. Uh, he looks like he's in great shape, uh, but still his mind, his mindset is still of a warrior. Once you, once he gets hit, it's going to be a different story. Oh, Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. What do I think? Uh, I think, man, look, I love both guys. I love both guys, but it's, it's in boxing. And I think the Ofimo um, proved it. Actually, uh, he proved it on Saturday is that a, a good big guy always beats a good small guy, you know? So that's, it's always like that. So um, I'm going to have to go with Tyson, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if Roy Jones Jr. You know, pulls something off like he always has in his, in his career. Who wins at this point? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah? I think, I think we all expect Mike to win. We all expect Mike to hit Roy Jones very hard and, you know, possibly knock him out or whatever, but, you know, Roy, Roy can handle his own, you know? So I, me personally, more than a winner, I'm looking forward to just seeing these guys get in the ring and do it. I think uh, they've come up with a, 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 a pretty cool gimmick. And, um, and, and, and again, I'm very, very proud of, uh, of Mike Tyson um, and, and and where he's at now in his life. I think he's in a good place. And, and I think he's going to share all of that with us in the ring. Roy Jones or Mike Tyson? Roy Jones or Mike Tyson? Um, man, those guys, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for them. Really happy for them. The fact that they, at that at their age now, and they still putting in the work, looking tremendous. Um, I, I want both of them to win, but, you know, that can't happen. So uh, I just say, man, I think the fans, I'm going to stick to that and go political. I think the fans are going to win <laughs> that night, man. Hell yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Mike Tyson, man, though, he's scary. At 53 years of, of age, doing what he's doing right now. Oof. But Roy Smart, he's smart too. Yeah, I, I would tune I into that fight just because I never actually got to see them fight like live because, you know, I was either too young or I wasn't alive yet. So I, w- I would definitely love to see them fight. And uh, as far as what to expect, you know, I really don't know because, I mean, I know it's going to be an exhibition match, but are they going to treat it as an exhibition match? I don't know. But we're, we're going to have to wait and see. I think that, I mean, boxers know how to spar, right? They have their, like, some kind of agreement. They know how to spar, whether they spar with amateur guys, novice guys. They know how to spar, right? But uh, so it depends on whoever lands the first hard punch is going to be on. I mean, you know. From that point on, it will be everything we talked about because nobody wants to get embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, and at the same time, with that being said, nobody wants to get embarrassed, meaning that he doesn't want to get knocked out or he doesn't want to even activate that type of energy in the ring. So we'll see it. But if they want to go into 
they're going for the knockout, hey, man. It's going to be something to look at. I mean, <laughs> it's going to be crazy, you know, because everybody's right. thinking the, the, the first real punch that Roy lands on Mike, because Mike's just one speed, you know, like he, he's, he's going to see red right. and, and, and Mike's going right. to go crazy. But Mike, but Mike, you know, he, I mean, like I said, like a fighter knows how to control themselves in the ring. And I think that Mike, but once Roy hits him with a good shot, you know, you may see a little different side of Mike Tyson. That old guy may come out. In this era, in this era, Mike got a chance on being the undisputed heavyweight champion in the world because of this era. They come back and 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 and, and say, look, they ready for a 10-rounder. They ready, let them earn, this, let them fight fights that people respect, right? And work them way up, I'll say two to three fights because of their name, because of their fanfare and what they show, man, listen, they got a chance in any round, any fight because they always have that one thing that they will go to their grave with them. It's called a puncher's chance. And anybody that don't get Mike Tyson a shot, I don't care if he got a walker with two tennis balls at the end of it. <laughs> long as he using his hands, that means he can punch him, he can throw him, excuse me. You, who you gonna count them out? Marcos, do we talk about this sport, man? Don't drink the Kool-Aid, man. It's an exhibition. At, it's an exhibition at best, whatever that means. Look, man, I, I, it's, it's, it's a money grab for both. God bless them. I'm happy they can do it, man. I'm happy they can do it. But it don't know, I hope nobody's getting carried away thinking it's a real fight. It's not. It's a, it's a paid sparring session. And, you know, it's going to be choreographed and all that stuff. Look, I'm sure they'll try to, you know, put on a show to best of their ability. But if Mike Tyson uh, fly, gets a flashback and drops a left hook on Roy Jones' chin, Roy Jones will fall like a sack of rice. And it won't be pretty, and it'll be ugly, and it'll be, uh, it'll be frightening. Mike Tyson or Roy Jones, who you think will win now in that exhibition? Uh, uh, I mean, I think that... Uh, it's going to be very interesting, you know. I'm not here to say Tyson's going to win. I'm not here to say Roy's going to win. Um, Are you going to watch it? I'm pretty sure it's going to be entertaining. I'm pretty sure I'm going to watch it, absolutely. I, may even, watch it. I, I don't know if I can go because I don't think it's going to be in the audience at that particular time. But may the best man win. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.